I think what these are supposed to do is absorb a bit of the energy from the chain. Like if you accelerate away, if this was fixed solid, and you accelerate away to try to twist, and it would eventually stretch the chain and wear the teeth out. So it's got a rubber in it to absorb some of that energy. So you imagine it goes like that and then the rubber compresses instead of the chain stretching and then it will pull away and I'm not sure if it's supposed to be loose like that or a firm fitting so I'll take it off and have a look sure about the condition to tell you the truth it looks okay worn a bit there I have bought a new one so I'll put it on anyway I bought was a new old stock for a Suzuki GN125 because apparently this Zontes Tiger is a like rip off or a copy of the Suzuki GN125. So at least I'm putting on a genuine Suzuki part. Would it fit? Ah, that circle there is bigger. like that's the only difference so Let me bash this down. I'll stop the camera so it don't get vibrated. Seems a tiny bit smaller, but the other one may be worn and it should be a tight fit. Because if I stretch it, it is going on. I think it was just because it's a new part and it's probably supposed to be a tight fit.
think that's on. it with anything sharp to damage it. I mean obviously when the wheels back on the bike and it's being tightened up this should all be compressed in properly. Satisfied that's in. Ah, now they're not. There's no play in it now. Well, very little, but that's due to the rubber. Does absorb a bit of the energy, so yeah, I think I'm going to be satisfied with that. I was worried that it was a too small a part, but obviously, this one is stretched and worn. Replaced it with a genuine Suzuki part. <laughs> so, Suzuki GN125 is apparently what this bike is modelled after and copied off. I don't expect it's going to be a genuine, you know, every single part for the Suzuki is going to fit the Zontes, but looks like consumables do, and, you know, stuff like brake shoes might do. But the cush drive definitely does, so I'm pleased with that. While the wheel's off, I will be cleaning up all the oil off of this, and scrubbing this down, I mean that could probably do with replacing yes it could because there's noggins on it four to eight thirty eight T I suspect the thirty eight T is the number of teeth now count them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yep, thirty-eight teeth. Probably see if I can get a genuine Suzuki one of them if it's the same part. But that is done. Now I've done that, I've turned the wheel over. And I'll have a look at the brake shoes. Drum feels a bit rough, but that's because the bike's not been actually used for probably four years. Once it's used, that'll get smoothed out. I mean, the shoes don't look too bad. I have bought some new ones. I don't know if you can see what they are. Itali Jet Moto, Ricarm Bay Originali, Codis 4870260. But looking at the shoes that are on compared to the new ones, I'm, I don't really think I need to replace them. 
They're the same. Diameter. There's not as much surface area on the shoe itself. It's probably what a centimetre less on the new one. But the thickness on the new shoes is about the same. It's a different material. I'm actually going to keep these on because there really is one millimetre at the most difference in thickness between the new and the old. So they will stay save as spares. But it is the right shoe. Yeah, everything else perfect. All the holes line up. As you can see. There is I mean that is lined up where it should be. But you can see the shoe ends. There's like a millimetre, centimetre or so just there more. So I'll keep the new ones on. Because if there's the brake wear indicator. And if I pull it on, I mean it's what? Two thirds? Still two thirds of break. I mean, still a third left to go, though. And I don't think putting the new ones is going to make that much difference. So I'm going to keep these brake shoes on for the time being. I mean, it's, they're not hard to change. Just whip the wheel off and whip them off. Working on. These sun test tigers or any 125 probably isn't that bad. I'll clean all that up before. But the wheel's not going back on yet because I've got the side with the sprocket on to clean. The actual sprocket bit. Probably give this a clean as well and all round there. And I'm probably going to order a new sprocket. Might as well. I mean, I've, I've got a new chain, put new cush drive on it. Yeah. Why scrimp and just leave a worn sprocket on it? It probably would suffice, but you know, cutting corners wears other components out quicker. So just replace the whole lot, chain, sprocket, cush drive. But there, uh, plenty of meat left on them. Third. Right, so I'll leave this video here because I'm not going to put this back on like I've said because I've still got a bit of work to do on it. And it's just cleaning when I've ordered the sprocket and it's sprocket fit in time. I'll knock the video up and we'll have a butcher's at that. But until then, laters.